Namaste, hi, hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see about using a MongoDB database and performing crude operations with Python. And for doing this, I am using this Google Colab. So, in order to use MongoDB inside Python programming language, I need a package called PyMongo and as an add-on package i need this dns python package so the purpose of this dns python is because we will be connecting the database that is available on the cloud so in this video i will be showing you how to set up the cloud based mongodb and also how we can get the connection string for that cloud based uh, mongodb so let's first dive in and install this two packages okay uh, we can see that the packages are getting installed now now i'm opening a new tab and just typing in mongodb atlas so guys this is the website like uh, we'll be using it for cloud based setup so you can see this here it's actually free of cost now let's start setting up our cloud based infrastructure so it is asking us for a sign up i have uh, already created an account if you have not created any account you can just provide your name last name company email and everything so i'm just going to sign in I have my Google account here, okay. Yes, so when you see this thing, uh, so there will be a default cluster zero that will be created by default. So here we will need to create a connection string which will actually communicate with our Python programming language. And for doing that, I'm just clicking this connect button i mean like connect option so we get four different options here so we can connect it via mongodb shell connect via your application so connect using mongodb compass and connect via visual studio code so we have four different options so here we are going to use the second option which is called connect your application and we need to provide the drivers so here they have n number of drivers here so in our case it is python and we need to provide the version so it is like 3.6 and above and when you click that you will can able to see uh, what is the uh, connection string for this so i'm just unchecking here so you can able to see this uh, connection string actually here so when you just check this box you can able to see there's a uh, actual python code so in our case it is not required so i'm just going to copy this and hit close looks like the package got installed now i'm going to just paste the copied connection string from there i'm just going to erase this all so in the connection string you can able to see like here we have the username and this is the password so this is the password that we need to get the access from the servers and for doing that I'm just again going to the dashboard of this mongodb atlas we need to get the database access for that first so hit on database access in the left hand side so we need to create a new database user so this is basically for the purpose of authentication so i'm just giving a name wiki underscore admin and i'm just generating the auto generate secure password i'm just copying it and there are some more options here so built-in role if you want to add a role for this particular user say like manager or a developer or a tester you can just do that here and for tutorial purpose i'm not going to do those things here and also there are some more options here so okay this is something we'll be using it now so this is like a temporary users for the 
tutorial purpose I have used this so I'm just going to enable this option and set like after six hours this particular user will be you no know, uh, like you know like uh, it will be deleted so you can see this user is temporary and will be deleted after your specified duration so here I'm going to set it as six hours and hit add user now that you can see this username wiki underscore admin has been created and you can see the time six hours has been set after six hours it will be deleted and now i'm going to the collab notebook and just pasting the copied password from there okay also like i'm just changing the username here it's like h-a-c-n-g-i-v-s i'm just typing it the username what i typed there wiki underscore admin and if i run this cell yeah it has successfully run now i'm going to create a sample database called test so this is the syntax so we need to use this client object dot test so test is basically the uh, database name so i'm just saving it in a variable called db and uh, inside the db i need to have create a collection so here i'm creating a dummy collection name called person yeah right now the collection and the database has been created now let's see like do we have any database entries there or not okay yeah okay it says like we don't have any entries here it is because like we have just created the database and the collection alone so we don't have any documents inside the collection so let us start uh, inserting one document some sample documents so uh, this is the command so we need to use the collection name and uh, in order to insert one uh, document we need to give it as insert one and it should be like uh, uh, json kind of structure so when i hit enter okay it says user is not allowed to do action insert or test dot person full error user is not allowed okay okay code name at last error so looks like there's a mistake with the database access now let's go and edit that this add built-in role yes we need to select this thing read and write to any database now let's update this user let's jump onto the collab notebook and rerun this thing yeah i think this has successfully compiled now let's see like do we have this document inserted inside that collection so i'm going to the database and browsing the collection yes that's awesome so we have a database called test and we have a collection inside that database called person and we have one document inside the collection 
this is pretty awesome now next we will see like how can we insert many commands so here i have some sample documents named george salary 100 steve salary 100 so on now let's see like how this actually works okay hitting shift enter it returns and cursor based result now let's head over to the database and refresh the collection okay yeah we can see that like we have four records here so one two four out of four records so we can just see like what are all the records here so we, like we have four records here now let's dive in for some more commands i think this collab repository has some documents now let's try to insert them as well okay yes this has some sample data now let's see what is there inside the sample data sample data okay we have some csv files here and uh, now let us see like how we can insert this one particular file california housing test dot csv okay this is in the csv format so i'm just going to use the pandas package import pandas as pd and i'm just creating a data frame df equal to pd dot uh, read underscore csv just copying this csv file dot shape okay like we have 3000 rows and 9 columns here now let us insert top 100 records of this uh, data frame so i'm just going to index this data frame say like 0 to 100 comma all columns so i'm just creating a new data frame new df now let's take a look up that new data frame new df okay yeah this is nice now let's convert this to dict since our mongodb will accept only json based objects okay this is a bit crazy now let us restructure this as records yeah this is somewhat okay now let me save it to a new variable say like new data okay. now again use the same collection dot insert mini command to insert the newly created data so collection dot insert mini new underscore data so when i hit enter this is awesome these hundred data points has been pushed inside this mongodb database now let us refresh the page to see like whether our documents have been inserted yes it has been inserted so it is actually showing me only the 20 results i think this is has some pagination stuff here anyways like i can see that it has uh, most like 100 plus documents you can still see that 
-hmm. Yeah, we do have an option to visualize. Okay, let's not see that now. This is awesome actually. So hitting next, it will show us the next 20 set of records. Okay, this works fine, great. Now let's see the next available functions. So we'll use the collection object, col variable name dot find. So it will actually find all the records. When we press shift enter, so it will just reserve, uh, returns as the cursor object. So in order to view this cursor object, we need to iterate over this cursor and print the results. So I'm just saving it in a variable d equals. For i in d, print i. Okay, this is awesome. So it is actually printing us all the available documents that were actually inserted in the collection. So I know like this looks very clumsy, but still you can be able to uh, you know, like change the view. And for doing that, you need to import a package called pretty print. From pprint, import pprint. And when you do this, you get a nice awesome view for this documents inside the collection. Okay, now let's move into the next function. So if we just want to find one, we can use this find one function. So it will just return us the top uh, document available in the collection and uh, again so this is something like creating a new collection we'll just omit it and if you just want to find one record so that has the name john means you can use this particular function so col dot find one it will just pull only one document from the collection Yeah, you see this so we have an object id so basically in mongodb this is an object id to identify a document it's basically an identifier to a document so this is kind of a unique value that we have inside the mongodb so we don't need to worry about that so here's our document so name john salary hunter and also like there is an another option not just finding one so we want to find the documents which and all having the name as john okay again here it returns it as a cursor i'll just save it to a new variable called say f equals and you can actually list of f okay i think like it is just sharing me only one record i think we have only one record in the database yes we have only one record i mean the document which has name as john now let's update that one document from John to Joseph so this is the update command so we're just going to update one document here and for doing that collection name dot update one function and which document we need to update so this is basically act as a condition here so for the document having the name as John we need to set it as set the name as Joseph 
so it will just uh, return as the object value and we can still able to uh, see the thing so right now like it has been updated from john to joseph so that is why the reason we can't be able to see any results here now i am just changing it to joseph here i think you will be able to see the document here yeah and the next command function is update many so there will be cases like you can't update one by one all the documents so it is kind of a time tedious job and for doing this you can use this update memory function and you can provide the condition so name as john and wherever the document has the name as john it will just change it to joseph and there is a similar command which is called replace one so it also does the same thing so wherever you have name as john it will just replace it to name to george and next moving on to the delete command so collection dot delete one will actually delete one record and if you want to delete multiple records means you can use this delete mini name colon john so this will actually delete the documents whichever has the name as john and i think this video will actually help you to grab some basic idea about using mongodb inside python hope you uh, like the video if you have any doubts or any clarification you can just post them in the comment box happy learning thank you bye bye take care